I am Dr. Harish S.G. I am Head of the Department of Internal Medicine at BR Life SSNMC Super Speciality Hospital, RR Nagar. Today I am here in front of you. I would like to give a few insights on one of the common burning medical problems that we are facing today, that is the H1N1 infection. What does this word H1N1 imply to us? H is hemagglutinin and N is neuraminidase. These are the viral antigens. See, this is nothing but a influenza virus, influenza type A virus, which has uh, originally come from the swines and infected the human beings. It's a very rampant uh, problem today we are facing. So how does this uh, H1N1 uh, infect the human beings? It is through the droplet infection. The virus is found in the infected persons and when they cough or when they sneeze, these droplets are uh, poured into the air and other healthy people who inhale are at risk of developing this infection. Now, who are the individuals who are likely to develop the H1N1 infection? There are several people who are uh, prone for these infections. People with low immunity, the HIV infected people, people with diabetes, people with chronic respiratory problems like asthma or uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, pregnant women, children below the age of 5 or above the or adults above the age of uh, 65 so all these uh, persons identified with h1n1 infection who are rapidly deteriorating need hospitalization and immediate treatment please do not neglect this problem as a common flu so if the patients develop breathing difficulty or they become very tired or if they have high fever with vomiting or loose stools they need to be hospitalized immediately. One more important point in prevention of this H1N1 infection is the H1N1 vaccine, which is readily available. It's a triple valent, triple valent vaccine, which covers all the three strains, H1N1, H3N2, and the Fouquet strain, and also influenza B. This vaccine is readily available as influenza vaccine. It can be given to all people at risk who are, uh, who are coming uh, into contact with the people, but this has to be done well before contact with the uh, H1N1 infected people. So following simple measures, hand hygiene, vaccination, using N90 mask, cleaning your homes with simple uh, bleach, and of course uh, healthy practices like good food and good exercise can definitely go a long way in preventing and hospitalizing those who need uh, hospital care will go a long way in the prevention and treatment of this H1N1 scourge.